In this tutorial, we will learn how to create drawing for sheet metal part. Click on New and select Drawing. OK. Then select the sheet format and click on OK. Then click on Browse. Then select the sheet metal part for which you want to create drawing. Open. Then click on these multiple views. Then select this flat pattern and select this isometric view. And I don't want this front view. Click on it to remove it. And click on OK. And click on Yes. Then drag the view below and place it properly. Then to give the dimensions to this flat pattern drawing, click on Annotation and click on this model item. Then select this mark for drawing and and not marked for drawing then click on ok click on yes it will show all the dimension you can drag it and place it at proper positions and if some dimensions are not related you can delete them select the dimension and press delete button on the keyboard and if you want to add some more dimensions using this smart dimension you can add the remaining dimensions sometimes there are too many bend lines at one position because of which these bend nodes are not properly visible in such cases what you can do you can add the bend table to add bend table click here and select bend table and select the flatten view then from here you can choose whether you want to name it alphabetically or using numbers I will choose it alphabetically. From here define the table properties and click on OK. Then place the table. The table contains the tag, direction, angle and radius, inner radius. And those tags are reflected here on the bend lines. If still there is a problem with the tags, you can also add leaders to it. Select the tags for which you want to add the leader. Press Ctrl and select the multiple tags. And from here you can add the leader and click on OK and then drag the leader and place it at proper positions. OK then for this individual I will change the position. Then next is to add the table for forming tools. Click here and select this punch table. Select whether you want it alphabetically or numerically then define the data mix and select the line for X and Y. So it will defined as a 0, 0 position and here choose the edges of the forming tool. I will choose this one and this one and click on OK. Then place the table. Now here punch ID is added for this B1 because it was there. If you are using the punch IDs you can add the punch ID to the punch. To add the punch ID to the punch click on this plus before the drawing view and right click on the sheet metal EX1 or whatever may be the name of your drawing right click on it and open part and choose the forming tool for which you want to add the punch id right click on it and click on this feature properties and from here you can add the punch id suppose i will say punch id is pn100 ok then save the drawing and go back to your sheet metal drawing now here rebuild it Punch ID still not added to indicate that punch ID you will have to create this drawing again. Then if you are not using the punch ID you can select this column right click it and delete it. Delete the column so it will be removed. You can drag the table and place it at desired position. And if you want to add table for this hole click on tables select this whole table. Then again choose the nomenclature. I want to give numbers. Then again define the zeros for x from here again and y. Then select the edges. Select these holes and click on OK. Then give the position. Here it will give the location, x, y location, tag and the size. And that tag will be shown here. You can apply the leaders to the tag also. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.